sixth grade, module three, lesson eight, problem set. In the table below, le list each set of rational numbers from greatest to least. Then in the appropriate column, state the number, state which number was furthest to the right and which number was furthest to the left on the number line. So we're, we're ordering from greatest to least. That's important to remember. So we're looking for the biggest number first, smallest number second. So negative one and 75 hundredths, negative three and 25 hundredths. So here, since we're talking about negatives, we're looking for a number that's further away from zero on the number line. If I were to draw a number line. So here's zero. And so negative three and 25 hundredths would be about down here, about negative three, whereas negative one would be over there. So further away from zero to the left that we get is smaller. So this negative three and 25 hundredths is, oops, see, we gotta be careful, greatest to least. So the greatest, the one that's closest to zero to the left is a negative one and 75 hundredths. And then the one that's smaller than that would be negative three and 25 hundredths. So the number that's furthest to the right on the number line, if we're looking at our number line, I'll just add these. The number that's furthest to the right is one and 75 hundredths. And the number that's furthest to the left would be negative three and 25 hundredths. Okay, negative nine and seven tenths and negative nine. So on our number line, negative nine would be like down there. And then negative nine and seven tenths, so this would be negative eight. Negative nine and seven tenths would be between negative nine and 10. So it might be about like right there. So negative nine and seven tenths is smaller. So the greater one is negative nine, then negative nine and seven tenths. So furthest to the right on the number line is negative nine. Furthest to the left is negative nine and seven tenths. Four fifths and zero. So the greater number here is four fifths and then zero because four fifths is greater than zero on a number line. Here would be zero, four fifths might be right there, especially because it's positive. So it's gonna be greater than zero if it's a positive number. So furthest to the right is four fifths, furthest to the left, zero. Negative 70 and negative 70 and four fifths. So this is kind of like the negative nine one that we just did. So negative 70 is gonna be greater than negative 70 and four fifths because it's closer to zero. So this is negative 70, negative 70 and four fifths. Negative 15 and negative five. So what is greater? Uh, negative five would be greater than negative 15. For example, you'd rather owe someone $5 than owe them $15. Furthest to the left, Furthest, or sorry, furthest to the right would be negative five, furthest to the left is negative 15. One half and negative two. So the greater number, it's, these are easier when it's just a positive and a negative number because obviously the positive number is greater than the negative number. So one half is furthest to the right, negative two is furthest to the left. Okay, we have three numbers now, negative 99, negative 100 and negative 99 and three tenths. So the greatest one is gonna be negative 99, then negative 99 and three tenths, then negative 100. So furthest to the right, or the greatest, is negative 99, furthest to the left will be negative 100. Five hundredths and five tenths. So these are positive, so the greater one is five tenths. And then Smaller is five hundredths, so furthest to the right is five hundredths, furthest to the left is five, or say, sorry, furthest to the right is five tenths, furthest to the left is five hundredths. Zero, negative three fourths, negative one fourth. So zero is the greatest, then cl next closest to zero would be negative one fourth, and then negative three fourths. So furthest to the right on the number line is zero, furthest to the left is negative three-fourths. And negative two-hundredths, negative four-hundredths. So the greatest number is negative two-hundredths, and then negative four-hundredths. 
So furthest to the right would be negative 2 hundredths, furthest to the left, negative 4 hundredths. For each row, describe the relationship between the number in column 3 and its order in column 2. Why is this? So the number in column 3, right here, and its order in column 2. So the num number in column 3 is always the first number. So notice 1 in 75 hundredths, 1 in 75 hundredths. Negative 9, negative 9, 4 fifths, 4 fifths. So it's always the same as the greatest number. So we can say it is always the greatest number because, and that's because when we look at a number line, what it's describing is it's the furthest to the right on the number line. And always when you're talking about the furthest to the right of the num number line, it's the greatest number. C. For each row, describe the relationship between the number in column 4 and its order in column 2. Why is this? So this is kind of the opposite of what we just did. So the number in column 4 and its order in column 2. So negative 3 and 25 hundredths is the second number in order. Negative 9 and 7 tenths is the second number. 0, it's the second number, or the least, because we put them in order from least, greatest to least. So, for each row, describe the relationship. So we can say, I'm just going to write the opposite of what we wrote before. It is always the smallest number. Because it's the farthest to the left on the number line. Number two, if two rational numbers a and b are ordered such that a is less than b, so a is less than b, then what must be true about the order for their opposites, negative a and negative b? So this is kind of what we were talking about in the classwork, where the opposites, if we had negative A and negative B, not negative A and negative A, negative A and negative B, then it would be switched because we found the opposites. So it's also going to be the opposite. So we can say the order would be reversed for the opposites. Otherwise, negative A is greater than negative B. And it kind of makes more sense if we were to put numbers with it. So if we did like 5 is less than 10, and then we found their opposites, negative 5 and negative 10, well, negative 5 is now greater than negative 10. So really, helps me to understand it a lot more with when I plug actual numbers in it rather than just looking at A and B. So that's a trick you can always use if you're looking at something and you're like, these letters are confusing me, just substitute some actual numbers in and try and make sense of it that way. Okay, number three, read each statement and then write a statement relating the opposites of each given number. So this is kind of putting into practice what we just explained in two. So 7 is greater than 6. So we're writing the opposite of that. So negative 7 would be is less than negative 6 because we're finding the opposites. So B, 39 and 2 tenths, negative 39 and 2 tenths is less than negative 30. So I'm really just writing the opposite of what I see. And C, one negative one fifth. So one fifth is less than, we're going to write greater than 
one third, but we're going to make it negative one third. And those are all true. Number four, order the following from least to greatest. Negative eight, negative 19, zero, one half, one fourth. So you can draw a number line, or let's just think about which one might be the furthest to the left from zero. So when I have a number line, negative 19 would be the smallest, and then I would have negative eight, and then zero. So we've taken care of the negatives, now let's look at the positives. So from least to greatest, which is smaller? What we have left is one half and one fourth. So we put one fourth, and then one half is the greatest. And number five, order the following from greatest to least. So now we're looking for the biggest number first. So I'm gonna look over at the positives. So my positive numbers are 12, one and a half, and five. So the greatest of those is 12. So we used 12, then we have one and a half and five. Then five is the next greatest, then one and one half. And now we're looking for the greatest of negative 12 and negative 19. So negative 12, and then negative 19. Because negative 12 is, or negative 19 is the furthest away to the left on the number line if we were to plot this, so it is the least. 